Hello again. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to do something that causes a lot of people a lot of headaches uh, for some reason, and that's working out your latitude and your longitude and your altitude for putting into such a stellarium or your go to mount. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a way not only to find that information, but also once you've got it, just to test it and check that it, it's right. And once you have got that, then you want to be writing it down somewhere and, and keeping it safe. And for this example, really, you want a pencil and paper when you when you work through it. Um, now, first of all, you're going to need something called Google Earth, which most people have got installed anyway. And if you haven't, then just install yourself a copy of Google Earth. And you'll be presented with a screen like this. Now, in the search box, you can actually enter a postcode if you want to. Um, but what you want to be doing is finding your observing site, whether it be uh, your dark site or whether it just be your back garden you know, or something like that. And like I say, if you're back garden, just put your postcode into this search box and work your way through from that, uh, zooming in closer to your actual back garden. Uh, for this example, we're going to use something simple. I'm just going to pick a landmark, which for this example, we're going to use Angel of the North. So if I type in Angel of the North, it should zoom into the Angel of the North. Um, once it has zoomed in, you might find that it takes a moment sometimes to just uh, update the photograph and everything, but you eventually you'll end up with a screen similar to this, but obviously showing your location. Now, what you might notice on the bottom of this screen, you have a whole set of numbers here, which alter as you move your mouse pointer around. And these are your latitude and your longitude and the elevation, which is your altitude. So what you do is once you've found your back garden or wherever, place your mouse pointer over that particular point and then get a pencil and paper and write down the numbers on the bottom which in this case are 54 54 51 34 north and the next set are 1 35 21 14 now you might already have noticed that the numbers actually are a, a, a little bit more than what we need. They're over a decimal place because it actually shows hundreds of a second as well. Um, but we'll come to that in a couple of moments. Now the next figure is your elevation, which in this case is showing 84 metres. So write down your 84 metres. Now that figure, you don't need to do anything with that. That will be your elevation wherever you move your mouse pointer. If you move your mouse pointer right, you'll see the elevation change as you move over the landscape. Now then, once you've got those figures, just round them up a little bit. So if you remember that we had 54, 54, 51, 34, uh, in that case, just take off the 34. So we have 54, 54, 51 north. Um, and then for the next one, we had 1, 35, 21, 14. Again, just take off the, the 14. Obviously, if, it's, if, you la if your last figure's over 50, then just round your next figure up. So now, we should have... 54, 54, 51 north, and 1, 35, 21 west, uh, with an elevation of 84 metres. Now, once you've got that, you can verify that, that detail by simply closing Google Earth and going to Google Maps. Just, just go into you know, your, your search engine and type in Google Maps, and you'll, you'll get Google Maps up. And you can put those actual figures in. So if I put in 54 space, 54 space, 51 with an N, no space, and then leave a space again, and put in 1 space 35 space 21 with a W, and I press enter, you'll see that Google Maps actually puts a green arrow at the point for the coordinates that you've put into it. It's actually a little known feature of Google Maps that you can put in coordinates like that. And it will give a green arrow. Now if we zoom in, you can see that, that green arrow is indeed pointing at the Angel of the North. Um, you know, roughly the place where I was. Now once you've done this part, if, if it's just outside your garden or anything like that, you can actually try tweaking these numbers just a little bit. Um, you know, if I put in now 22 instead of 21, 
and click search again, you'll see that it's actually moved the green arrow across a little bit. So if you find that once you've put these details in, in Google Maps, if it's like the next street to you or it's a few houses up or something, just have a play about and tweak your figures. And once you've got them, you know that they're, that they're right because you've got two pieces of software that are verifying exactly the same information. So just write those down and write your altitude down and keep them safe. And then obviously you just put that information into your go-to or your uh, Stellarium or whatever. And I hope that's been helpful for you. Um, it certainly was for me because, you know, I, I, I had a lot of trouble working out the coordinates when I first got my telescope. And that's about it really for this one. So once again, thanks for watching.